pretty. Stand up. Pretty. Stand up. Pretty. Stand up. Pretty. Stand up. Stand up. Pretty. 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 Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Hey, I am deep in Uganda, a few kilometers from Kampala city. And today I want to show you the best breeder of dogs that I've ever seen. Now, these dogs are brilliant from the genetics to the training. Here, these dogs can literally clean up your compound they can literally obey any commands that you give them now this farm or this kennel is none other than the great habib now let's see this farm let's get inspired i'm here with this amazing guy who trains these dogs his name is uh Shafi and let him introduce himself. Yeah, hello. Uh, my name is Walusimbi Shafiq on my social medias. I'm Fik Bella Walusimbi. Um, um this is the Great Habib Canine Academy. Here we breed and train dogs. We do all dog services, and this is so far one of the best canoes in Uganda. I think yes. in the in the whole Africa. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this. Thank Amazing. You. So Mr. Shafi, yes. how did you get into dog breeding and uh, training? Uh yeah, at first um um I, I, we used to have dogs at home. Uh we used to have dogs. And then I I got inspired by a man called Samuel Olekuyoni who was staying in Kenya Mombasa. He used to train police dogs at the beach. So he became my friend. He was my mother's friend. So he became my friend. And every morning, he used to pick me. We go train dogs together. That's how, that's where I got the inspiration from. I am a Ugandan, but every December, since my mom used to stay at the beach, Mombasa, he used to stay in Mombasa. So every December, the third time, I used to go to Mombasa. And that's where. I used, I found a man called Samuel who introduced me to dogs and dog training. Wow, incredible. Now, how did you set up this? What did it take for you to set up this kennel and start your operations? Um, it has been a, a series of growth. Uh -huh. We started from wood, we started with one dog, we started, uh -huh. so it has been a series of growth, mm. growth, growth growth up to when we, we we have achieved this <laughs> yeah how, how many dogs do you have here here we have like 52 dogs we have a few dogs from clients mm -hmm. and also our dogs so here it's a dog school it's more of a dog academy where people bring dogs here for training since um uganda's best dog trainer just not all the dogs around uganda I found here they bring them for training mm. yes so we have for now it's like 52 dogs mm -hmm. from clients and then we have like 30 dogs for for the great habib academy wow amazing yes. so what dogs do you keep at the great <clears throat> habib academy um at the great habib academy we keep almost like five breeds here we have the dutch shepherds like this one, mm -hmm. we have the Belgian Malinois, mm -hmm. we have the German Shepherds, we have the Rottweilers, we have the Sausage Danish, the Dash Hounds, yeah, the Dash and then we have the Beagle. Wow. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. Now, take us through the operations of this kid. If there's someone out there who is mm. thinking of uh, getting dogs, mm. uh, who is thinking of 
uh, buying dogs and starting to do a dog business. Mm. So take us through the operations of this academy mm. from morning to evening. Mm. Yeah, from now, first of all, um, to a person who wants to come into the dog business, first of all, the first thing you should have money and time. Mm. Yes, because this business needs time and money. Mm. Yeah, if you don't have money, please, you can't afford dog, dog breeding. Ah. Yes. And second, if you want to have a, uh, like here, we, we have dogs from, we have well bred kennels from, we, we have well bred dogs from trusted kennels. Mm -hmm. We ship them from Europe, some of them, like the Rottweilers. Uh -huh. um, we ship our Malinois from also abroad, from Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And, okay, we have, we have the best bloodlines here in Uganda. Mm. So, um, um, yeah, that's it. So, in the morning, mm. in the morning, you've arrived at the academy. Mm. So, take us step by step leading to the end of the day. Mm. What, what you do with the dogs. <clears throat> okay, now, in the morning, every morning, because I, I always reach here at around 6, very early, mm. but then... We have Ronald, a very, a very, very great person who mm -hmm. helps me in cleaning. Mm -hmm. For him, he wakes up at yeah, like at eleven in the morning. Mm -hmm. For me, I come at at twelve. Mm -hmm. Then, all the do by by that time, all the dogs are out. Mm -hmm. Ronald is inside cleaning the kennels, mm -hmm. and the dogs are outside here playing. Since these animals need a lot of lots and lots of exercises, mm -hmm. and and then we have Zaga, who is always out. To watch out, to watch over the this, this one is fighting, mm. this one is fighting, and then we have Barak, who is there cleaning the food barrels. So you have three employees. Yeah, we or have three farm hands. Yeah, we have three farm. They are actually not employees. Yeah, yeah they are farm hands. Farm I think hands. yes. Yeah. It's all up here. It's about working together yeah. and helping each other. Yeah. Yes. So in the morning. Everyone is working. Bar Barak is cleaning the, uh, the, the plates. Mm -hmm. Ronald is cleaning the kennels. Zaga is watching which dog is fighting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which dog is fighting each other. Mm -hmm. And me, I'm um, around checking, is this, is this going well? Is this going well? Is this going well? Mm -hmm. As I'm preparing for training. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then Ronald cleans like for, for two hours. The dogs play like for three hours. And then we wash them. I say, we don't wash them. We take them to the pond uh -huh. because when they come out, they are already dirty. Yeah. We take them to the to the to the pond. Mm -hmm. So you know, if a dog goes in water, mm -hmm. all the ticks, all the insects, when the, the when the dog enters the water, yeah. they all drown wow. and die. Yeah. Yeah. So the, then we, we bring back the dogs. Then we take them back to the kennels. Mm -hmm. Yes. After Ronald has cleaned. We take them back to the kennel, and each kennel there is a there is a water system that doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. Each kennel has a tap mm -hmm. because dogs need to have water every time. You know they don't talk. Mm -hmm. The dog can't tell that. Oh, I'm thirsty. Yeah. So you have to put water even if food comes late. Mm -hmm. The dog already has water to be to keep it uh to keep it healthy, hydrated. Yeah, hydrated. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So every kennel has water. And it's clean. Mm. So dogs need a very, very clean en environment. And then after they are all inside, then Ronald stops cleaning. Mm -hmm. He goes to the cooking. Even Zaga, who has been watching over the, this dog's fighting, he goes to, to, to cooking. Mm. And then me and Barak, we go for training. Now you go to train Yes, them. we go to train them. Ronald is cooking. Yes. And then... After we are, we, they are done from training from around, around I think, 10 to, to 1, after training, they come back, relax a little bit, and then Zaga and Ronald have already put their food wow. in the kennels. Mm. Yes, and then after a small resting, then they give them food they eat. Mm. After eating, we put them out to run around and poop. Mm -hmm. After they have finished pooping, we take them back to the kennels. Mm -hmm. we, then we give them water. Mm -hmm. These dogs, like the old dogs, we feed them once, mm -hmm. but we feed them enough food. Mm -hmm. One dog eats a very big, 
a very, very, very big plate of food wow. so we can maintain their bodies and energy. As you see this cone, she has a lot of energy. This one is a, this one is a rot. Yeah, he's a rot whale. Uh -huh. She's called Rotsi. <laughs> Yeah, she's called Rotsi. Ah, she's called Rotsi. Yeah, she's <gasps> called Rotsi. And she was named by Barak after she, he got out of names. You know, he has he has named a hundred of dogs. Wow. When he, 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 he got out of names, uh -huh. then he named that one Rotsi. 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 Wow. Amazing. Yes. yes um, then after after giving them water, yeah. uh, giving them water, they, they relax. Mm. And then we bring them out. Like at, at six in the evening, mm. we put them out, they play again, then we take them back to the kennel, they relax. Mm. You know, Great Habib Smart Farm Academy and the canine, it's a very, very big, a very, very big uh, piece of land. Yeah. So we need dogs that have to guard at night. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we have very, very well trained dogs that, that, that are good at guarding. So we start deploying them. The ones that that can keep the whole of this place, the one that will guard the house, yeah. the ones that will guard the resort. Wow. And the ones that will guard the farm, we also take dogs to the farm ah, to ah. guard. Yeah, I understand you have a very big, big farm. Yes. Uh, with so many ducks. Yes, wow. yes, yes, yes. This yes. come, this come, uh, the dogs come in handy. Yes, now. our dogs, um, actually they are our dogs, but they are workers here. Wow. They, they, they guard the, Five dogs here, five dogs at the house, five dogs at the resort, five dogs at the farm. Yeah. And we, we deploy them every day. Mm. Yes. Now, I need to ask this. Mm. You have Rottweilers. Mm. You have uh, Dutch Malino. Yeah, Dutch Shepherds. Dutch Shepherds. Yes. You have Belgian Malino. Yes. You have German Malino. Yeah, German, German Shepherds. Shepherds. Sorry. Yes. Right. So, all these dogs have different temperament. Yes. So, here at Habib Farm, mm. when you are selling a dog to somebody, mm. so what will you, what should you advise them? If you're taking mm. Malno, mm. take this dog because it's good at this. Mm. If you're taking the Dash, mm. this and this. So tell us mm. each dog's and its <clears throat> best ability. Okay, now we have uh, we have dogs that guard farms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, dogs you, that <laughs> you bad boy, no jumping. No okay, jumping. Uh, we have dogs that guard farms, uh, <laughs> and then boy. we have dogs that guard farms. <laughs> they wanted the ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we have dogs that guard farms. Uh -huh. We have dogs that guard those parkings with cars. Uh -huh. Yes, and then we have dogs that guard homes. Mm -hmm. A dogs that ha okay, the family, the, a, a dogs that guard someone's house mm -hmm. should be a balanced dog. Mm -hmm. Now. If you want a dog that that is going to guard maybe a, a parking or a farm, we give you uh we can give you a Malinois mm -hmm. or a Rottweiler. Yeah. Yeah, because for them Malinois are very very first of all they are very very athletic. Mm. They are easy to look after. Mm. They don't eat a lot of food. Like if, even if you feed it a small portion of food, uh -huh. it can work with a very 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 great energy. Uh -huh. And then we give you a, a Rottweiler if you. If, if, we give you rot. We give out Rottweilers, Malinois to these to, to to those big farms and 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 what and maybe car bonds, mm. yes, and other security things. And now, if it's a, a family protection dog, mm. then there we give German Shepherds mm -hmm. because they are somehow balanced. Mm. They are that sometimes they are very uh, hungry and sometimes they are they are just there. Mm. So for a family, we give you a German Shepherd. Mm because they are they are somehow they are understanding mm. but rottweilers malinois they are high performance dogs they the extreme dogs yes if they see something running yeah. they don't care if they see something running they have to go for it <laughs> yes yes yeah. and first of all now for first time dog owners mm. we don't sell to them these breeds the rottweilers and malinois uh -huh. yes they need someone who has had them before. Uh -huh. They need someone who is who is ex who has enough experience uh -huh. with with that with that with that breed. Mm. But then for, for for starters, we give we sell to them German shepherds. German shepherds. Yes, for starters, yeah. we, 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 we we sell to them German shepherds. Mm. And then for er experienced people. We can we can sell you a Malinois or a Rottweiler mm. if you have if you know okay if you have 
worked with them before mm. but but german shepherds they are easy even as, as someone starting mm. you can start with them i've seen these dogs do incredible things yes do things that i've never th thought do dogs would do mm. now what does it take to train these dogs <clears throat> how do you, how do you make them do that mm. because <clears throat> I'm sure a lot of people want their dog to be trained. But yeah. There's no way you're training your dogs to do whatever they were doing today. One, two, three, four, five, flat, heel, go up here. Flat, stand, sit, 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 middle, back, roll, heel, heel, back, back, flat, stand, sit, flat, Flat, man. Sit, back, flat, heel, back, flat, up here. <laughs> this is our dog nasty the breed is a, a dutch shepherd and he is a, dete a, a detection dog he detects weapons drugs and money so now we are going to demonstrate for you the money detection so this is a ugandan note it's a 50,000 note. Uh, there are two, uh, it's 100 now, 100,000. So Marvin is going to hide these pieces of money somewhere. And then Nasty has to show us where this money is. Nasty has to sit and stay there to show us that that's the exact place where the money is. <clears throat> Put a leash on him and this and this working vest. He already knows he's going to do some detection work. <clears throat> Nasty, find it. Yeah, he has found it. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is, right? <gasps> How is he able to do that? Yeah, Nasty, um, he knows the scent of money and other explosives. Uh -huh. So whenever he finds money, he has to sit there to show me that this is money. And even if we are walking and we, found, we find money on the way, he, he sits there to show me that there is money here. So... <laughs> wow! Yeah. Now, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay. <laughs> hide it somewhere, somewhere that is somewhere, somewhere else. So they're going to hide it somewhere else. Then we... Wow, that was impressive. And it literally went direct up to the money. So, let's see. They've, they've hit the money again. You ready? Let's wait for him to hide. Mm-hmm. Have you young Maze? Nasty? Fine. Look at him, he's searching now. He's searching for the money. <laughs> there it is. He's found it. Wow. Here's the money. 
So after he has done, she has done all this work, we reward Nasty with a ball. Yes. So for, 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 for dogs, they only work for their ball. They yeah. don't need anything. So the reward is the ball. Yeah, so she's very <laughs> happy after getting her reward and then he has to come here yeah. and thank me. Yes, good thing. <laughs> Matilda, I'm going to demonstrate for you how she does her cleaning. I can drop bottles in water and then she's going to go to take them out and and put them in the bin. Mm -hmm. yes. So there is the bin. Yeah. And this there is the, is the water. Yes. These are the bottles. Yes. So in the morning, when the bottles are All in over, the water, yes. even the, every trash, uh, she goes, gathers everything, and puts them in the bin. Yes. This is incredible. Let's see if the mm. dog is gonna do that. Then. Then. Wow! How do you manage to do that? Yo, first of all, yeah. oh, now the dogs we have here. Um, a dog's training ability comes from the breeding. Yeah. Yes. If the mom is excellent, the dad is excellent, yeah. they have to produce very excellent, excellent. puppies. Wow. Yes. And if mommy is a sleeping dog, daddy is a balanced dog, uh -huh. they produce uh they produce uh, lazy lazy dogs yeah and now about buying puppies uh, okay it's all, all this is about training yeah now buying puppies if you want if you want a puppy a high performance puppy puppy you you pick it like when a litter of many puppies the puppy that is already sleeping mm. that's its behavior it will grow up sleeping, sleeping. yes puppies that are ever playing those are excellent puppies they grow up working yes so now for us when choosing puppies we, we first of all we look for a, a nice breeder with very very good bloodlines and pedigree then we, we 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 then when we see the pedigree of the parents we read about the great great parents the grandparents mm. then we we, 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 we 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 then we look into the puppies which one is good which one is fits the the the, the fits the the levels of abilities that we want mm. and then we choose the best puppies actually when we are choosing malinois we put a sack we see that puppy that is fantastic in running and chasing it yeah. that's what we take uh -huh. so from the beginning we choose the best puppy and we, we choose the best puppy so best puppies are easier to train mm. because they love working yeah and sleeping puppies don't love working. You call it, she's like, oh, ah. I don't want, she's sleeping. <laughs> so she's lazy in life. Yeah, yeah. So then when we get those puppies, we train them. For us, we, we start training puppies at three months. Three months. Yes, puppies start earlier. If you, are, if you have a litter, you can start training them from maybe one month, mm. giving them some, some small, small exercises, uh, socializing them with the sounds and what. But for us here, we start training puppies, serious training starts at, at three months. We build the puppy, we socialize it, uh, we, 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 we balance it. And then as we, as we, we, we make them grow, as, as we are training them, we train them, we train them to the level we want. Hmm. And if it's a sniffer dog, we, 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 we train it sniffing. If it's a guard dog, we train it guarding and some obedience. Mm. And if it's a it's a it's a, 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 a pet, pets, uh, we, we we just we teach it some obedience. Yeah. Yes, and then we, we don't teach it guarding. And actually, 
These dogs that are always sleeping, for us, we sell them as pets. Just pets. The lazy dogs. Yeah, the lazy dogs are pets. Some advice for those clients who want or who would like to have pets. Dogs as pets. You know, it's uh, the difference between a guard dog and a high performance dog and a pet. So if you want a pet, don't go in a litter and then you pick these puppies that are over playing, mm. the high drive puppies. Yeah. You have to look for a puppy that is always sleeping. Yeah. Yes, that one can actually work as a pet. But if you want to, to, to have a pet and you pick these high performance dogs, you'll end up <laughs> they'll eat your coaches. They will eat your coaches, they will take the shoes, they will spoil the they will spoil flowers, <laughs> everything. So you, you have to look for this sleepy dog. The, the dog that's already the sleeping. The temperament is lazy. Yes. And yeah. then you take it to a good trainer. Mm. They teach it some basic obedience, awful obedience. Uh -huh. And then you get your pet. But if you want if, if you want a pet and you you, you choose a high drive puppy, yeah. you will end up in throwing it away, giving <laughs> it away for adoption. Your your house will look like a war zone. Yes. Now, mm. how much do you sell mm. these puppies? Um now uh puppies like uh, the the it depends on the breed. Mm. Yes. The Malinois puppies it goes for two million Ugandan shillings here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then the Rottweiler puppies, they go for, well, uh, one, uh, they go for also 2.5 million Ugandan shillings here. And then we have dogs, the pets. Yeah. The pets go for 800,000 Ugandan shillings. Those dogs that don't work, the lazy ones. Yeah. yeah sometimes we even give them away to families yeah. who can really take good care yeah. of them. Yes. And what about now the feeders? Do you have a special feeder to give these dogs? Mm. Like the diet. Do you concentrate mm. on the diet? Okay, now um for, for, for these high performance dogs, the Malinois, those ones that are working every day, we always give them some supplements, mm. the calcium, the multivitamins. We always give them multivitamins and calcium. Mm. And then um, our dogs every day now. They we always we always change meals. Maybe a Monday they eat they eat broken. We give them broken rice and meat. Meat doesn't miss in their meal. We only change uh, meat. Sometimes we give them posho. Uh, in Uganda we call it kaunga. We give them posho. Another day rice. Another day posho. But sometimes we mix for them pumpkins, mm. we mix for them some, some small, small fruits, mm. vegetables, yes. Tell us about uh, the challenges that you've experienced uh, keeping these dogs, training these dogs mm. in the sector. Mm. Mm. Now, all the challenges, uh, the, the first challenge, mm. uh, it's, I think it's the diseases. Diseases. Diseases like the puppies. Mm. Okay, now here it's somehow like a forest. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of puppies that come. Mm. They bring a lot lots of diseases, the ticks, mm. and then the puppies here. Pavo. Oh, Pavo virus. Pavo virus. If you have a puppy, the first, you have to be uh, cautious yeah. about the, the Pavo, the Pavo virus. We always vaccinate, uh, make sure you always vaccinate your puppies. The biggest challenge here with the puppies is Pavo. Pavo is a very, very terrible disease when it comes to puppies. It kills them at any age. And if you don't follow the, va the right vaccination process, mm. like here, we, we, we vaccinate puppies as early as one month. When the puppy is one month, we vaccinate it Pavo. Yeah. Then the second month, we give it Pavo. And then the third month, we do the, the, the cocktail vaccine, mm -hmm. and then the rabies. So the most challenge here is purple and diseases. Um, and since we are around, we are near the bush, we have ticks that come with that terrible, that, that terrible dog fever that comes with ticks. The disease that, that is around here. Yeah. So here, we, we make sure the dogs are well treated, vaccinated and then the hygiene you have to make sure that where the dog is okay the, the dog's kennel is very very clean mm. to the maximum 
and then the feeding. You have to, to be careful the kind of food you feed it. The kind of food you, 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 you feed it. And and I think the duami. Yes, duami. Dogs, just like humans, dogs need serious duami. Yes, and if you don't duami a puppy, it also dies. Wow. Yes. Amazing. What would you tell anyone who is uh, who, who is thinking of uh, look at this boy, great boy, who is thinking of starting a dog business or wants to keep a dog, who, is, who wants to come and buy a dog? What you what would you tell them about this business? Um, uh, the first thing I I would love to tell them uh, is don't come to the dog business when you don't have love and passion for, mm. for, for dogs. Mm. It's not about waking up and say, oh, dogs, the dog business is working. Yeah. Then you go run by a dog. Mm. First of all, you have to have that love mm. for animals. Yeah. It's the first thing, love for animals. And then uh, you have to, to, to it's, it's a full-time job that you have to be there for your dogs. Mm. Yes. So you have to um, you have to always have time for your animals, checking uh -huh. on them. Uh -huh. Don't leave them for, for workers. Yeah. Always check on your dogs. They're like your babies. Yes, treat them like your humans. Yeah. Don't beat them without reasons. <laughs> yes, like people every time they beat. They beat the dog. Don't beat them for, yeah. for, for no reason. Uh. Take good care of them. Yeah. Don't start, don't get a dog if you don't love animals a dog yes well, now there's something we did not touch on. Mm. now how much money do you make from the dog <laughs> business okay now uh like a month uh because my dogs always pro like every month i have every month or two months i have dogs producing puppies mm -hmm. and here a, a dog can produce like seven puppies mm -hmm. seven puppies i sell uh, the least money i can sell a puppy is 2m Wow. Two million Ugandan shillings. Wow. Now you do your simple mo multiplications. Make the puppies are seven, and I sell them two millions. How much do I get from one dog? And not only selling the puppies, mm. you also do dog training. Yes. And <laughs> wow, I think you are the most incredible dog trainer I've ever seen. Yes. Wow. One one dog produces seven puppies. I sell them. Not less than two million Uganda shillings, yeah. and my puppies are always booked even before they come to us. Wow! How much do you charge for training? Oh, I'm not that expensive. I charge one. Uh, I charge one point eight million Ugandan shillings. Wow, folks, you've heard about it. This is the Great Habib Canine Academy. Academy. Yes. I've never seen dogs do what they have done today they clean up they follow all the commands you want them to follow they are very obedient wow aren't you inspired fox so i hope you've gotten something and if you need a dog wherever you are even if you're in kenya even if you're in rwanda europe me, america europe america trust me get dogs from Sheffy, for those who, who are coming back to Africa, either from Europe, from the UK, uh, from the UK, from America, from anywhere, come and visit this farm. Okay. He's a yes. great guy. Sheffy, yes. tell us how they can find you. Um, all my, you can find me. Uh, we have a website, uh, the Great Abib Canine Academy dot com. Emma, Emma, can you come here, please? <laughs> Oh. Please run faster. Ah, ah Iman. Okay, okay, yes. okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So this this one is the man behind all my social medias. So he can tell you more about the our websites and where you can find us. Uh, so uh, my name is Emmanuel Ogwa, uh, business development director for Greater Bib Group. Uh, currently, I can tell you a hundred percent that the Canine Academy is performing beyond. Uh, uh, our African standards. Uh, we have set the standards so high that currently we have no competition. So uh, our website is a uh, uh, greater b uh, g www g h k nine academy dot co dot com. 
uh, for our socials. Uh, you can uh, check out uh, Twitter, uh, Greater BPK9 Academy. You can check out Facebook, Greater BPK9 Academy. Uh, we are soon launching a, a couple of channels on YouTube as well uh, to uh, uh, put forward our brand online. And uh, just like our lead trainer said, uh, I don't have really much to say. I just enjoy being around him and being around his team because whatever they deliver is amazing work. Thank you. Yeah, um, and, and for those ones who would like to follow me on TikTok, um, you can put Vic Bella Walusimbi. You will see all my amazing dog training videos and then you follow. Thank you so much. Amazing. So I hope you've gotten inspired. I hope you found a place to buy the dogs that you've always wished for and to get the trainer you've always wanted. If you've watched this video up until this point, remember to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I hope this video was inspiring. Till the next one, a peace.